Hey everyone, this is Coach Pat. And I'm Coach Stephanie. We're here at Habit Strength and Conditioning in Tacoma. We're continuing our squat series. The first time we talked about air squats and today we're going to talk about back squats. So bar on your back. All right, as Steph said, the bar is going to go on your back. And one of the first things we like to do is figure out the placement of the bar on your back. Some people like to use a high bar position, which would be more up towards the base of your neck. And some people like to use a low bar position that will come down your back. Uh, everyone's a little bit different. We can definitely help you find your positioning uh, of that barbell on your back. Uh, but those are the, the two different positions. Uh, from here, the first thing that we do when we're going to get ourselves underneath the bar is place our hands on that barbell and even distribution across it. That way when she puts herself underneath, that she stays right in the center of that barbell. The last thing we want to do is get lopsided because then the bar was going to take you one way or another and it's just not going to feel quite right. So notice that her hands, when she brings herself underneath, are up over the top. She's keeping her wrist to her forearm nice and flat. That way we're not putting any unnecessary uh, pressure on your wrist while you're doing your squat. From here, she pushes her chest out, squeezing her shoulder blades back, getting them nice and tight. And she would take a deep breath in and then stand that barbell up. Next thing, she takes a big step out, gets in her squat stance, which is generally around shoulder width apart, but with mobility and anatomy, sometimes it's a little wider, sometimes a little narrower, just depends on the squatter. From here, she's gonna take a deep, deep belly breath in, bracing herself, push her butt back and down, getting her hip crease down below the knee, and at that bottom, driving through the back sides of her foot, and bringing that barbell back up. As she's coming back up, she's gonna keep her chest pushed out and she's gonna drive those elbows forward to make sure she keeps her torso upright. When she gets to that last rep, she's going to step that barbell back into the back of the rack and then drop it down. A lot of times people try to place it in. If you miss, you can end up hurting yourself and that's no good for anyone. So back squats are something that we can definitely help you with. There's many variations of stances and bar positioning, and we're here at Habit to help you figure that out. Uh, happy, squ happy squatting. See you guys soon.